Hello everyone, so welcome to Europe Education. I am Jitendra Tyagi and right now I got opportunity to interact with Dr. Rakesh Kumar uh, who is head in Department of Physics, IIT Roper. So Dr. Saab, uh, most welcome on Europe Education platform. Thank you very much. Yeah. So sir, first of all, uh, we want to know about uh, your entire journey starting from your education. From 10th? Onwards. Yeah, yeah, you can, sir. So, 10th, my 10th was in Bihar State Electric uh, Education Board, okay. Bihar State Education Board. So, that is, that was high school in Brownie Thermal Power Station Colony. So, just from there, I started. Okay. So, after that, I went to uh, Kendriya Vidyalaya for 10 plus 2. Great. And after that, I went to BHU, Banaras Hindu University for my graduation. B.Sc. Physics. B.Sc. Physics. Yeah, okay. With his specialization in electronics. Okay. After that, I did uh, this post graduation also from B.H.U. Banaras University. M.Sc. Physics. Yeah. Same okay. electronics specialization. No, in that one yes. Okay. M.Sc. With a specialization in electronics. Okay. And uh, after that, just I went to IIT Bombay for my PhD. So just in. 2000 I went and 2005 6 basically just I completed okay so after that just we uh, went to just I went to this TFR Tata Institute of Fundamental Research great um, Mumbai Kulava that is in Kulava there I stayed for one year two months three months uh, postdoc as, as a visiting fellow okay um, visiting yeah. okay okay so just after that I moved to University of Pierre in Marie Curie, Paris, France. Great. So there I worked on uh, graphene, two dimensional materials. And uh, there just we were also using uh, this device fabrications. Okay, okay. So, uh, we just made field effect transistors there and we characterized to find out sonic of D has oscillations, just which is observed only in high quality crystals, body okay. crystals in high magnetic field. So we did that one. And after that, just uh, I wanted to return back to India. So I came back to India. So I was there in Institute of Physics, Bhuvaneswar for four months. Okay. So then I got a offer from IIT Patna. But uh, I was waiting for the result from IIT Roper also. Okay. So, <coughs> And I got the offer, so so you preferred IIT Roper, uh, yeah, because that was my hometown. So, Patna, that is my home state. So, I preferred IIT Roper. Okay, far away from home. Yeah. Most of the people to want to stay. Yeah, because just, to... Uh, yeah, but uh, IIT Roper had preference because if you see nearby institutes, there are so many research institutes. Yeah, so many universities. But if you see IIT Patna, then. Nearby institute, IIT Kanpur, IIT Kharagpur, they are slightly far away. Yes, yes. That's why and the location is main. main brand location brand. was advantage for me. This so now in IIT Roper. Yeah. On what particular research areas you are currently working, and what about your future plans to work on? So just presently we are working on two dimensional materials. So here we are trying to develop field effect transistors. So here our clean room facility that is coming up. Okay. So main campus that is coming up and by four months that will be ready basically and then we can make the device. Okay. So at this time we are making something but that is not at micron level. So that is bigger devices. So what you have to go for a small devices or looking for the physics basically just that as you go towards from micro macro to nano size then your properties physical property changes okay electronics property changes so the response also of the device that will change as you go to lower dimensions so, so you are trying, trying to, to study those behaviors, behaviors those properties and, yeah and the, trying to develop sensors we are also looking for that okay how the dynamics changes when two dimensional materials are deposited over some substrate Okay. So this dynamics also, but okay, just how these properties will change at lower dimensions. So we are looking at that one. So I think uh, <coughs> MOSFETs are nowadays very important 
devices yes, yes. and uh, the most important vlsi industry uh, they need high research in this uh, area yes so your research work is also related with vlsi sector because we are doing only fundamental research at nano just we are making only one device okay so vlsi you develop many devices and you integrate at nano scale or some micron scale like that okay so we are not going for vlsi but our studies are fundamental research towards uh, incorporating those devices at in vlsi okay so that is like that okay so now uh, suppose there is some student who is pursuing their msc uh, physics and they are not clear about uh, in what direction they should go for phd they want do to do research but they don't have a clear visa actually they don't know uh, that in which area they should move forward so according to you in physics mm -hmm. what are the important areas mm -hmm. in which they can get uh, good opportunities good scope to research so that depends upon your choice also that okay in which areas you are interested okay. so all the areas <coughs> in phd that is important whatever the problem you choose in phd you are trained that okay how you choose the problems and how you tackle because it is just like problems in your life so any problem can come in physics also there are several problems so whichever problem you choose all are good okay if you go in depth otherwise you don't understand the physics yes if you look for the job opportunities then people go for those areas where just uh, there is a clear cut implications or just you can say that industries uh, industries or something they need that type of research then you usually get jobs but uh, in india as you see the industry does not promote that high end r and d yes yes so that is the problem so most of the students who come here they are trained in all those things all we train in every aspects in all the aspects just we are training and mostly they want to go to higher education abroad or just uh, or phd also they want from abroad or some another institutes where they look for their choice basically whatever the their research choice is there yeah so that depends upon them basically okay so now uh, please tell us about your publications so we worked on two dimensional materials so just one of the publications few years back when just i started my career here so that was in uh, physical review b so we are just we showed that okay this ages basically just whatever just we can understand that graphene suppose you take then properties of those graphene you expect if the same i make you make but it is not like that but this ages affect the properties drastically so you will see that okay just same ribbons what i make and you make that has different properties then we investigated and we found that this ages basically in these two materials what i prepare and others prepare this ages affects the overall properties so we gave a theory also that this is the potentials basically that is getting modified at local level. okay yeah so this physics is we can say practical subject theoretical theoretical subject theoretical yes yeah. and it is also useful in engineering na no? yes to solve engineering problems yes yes so what kind of problems uh, you have solved during your research up to now any particular problem you want to mention yeah so just from <coughs> just i started my phd in superconductivity and magnetism so there just we were looking that okay just how the superconductivity develops you know that superconductivity and magnetism they are enemy of each other they if superconductivity is there magnetism will be not there if magnetism is there superconductivity cannot develop but in high temperature superconductors both basically coexist so we investigated and we locally probed with mojwar spectroscopy and we found that okay they exist even superconductivity a magnetism comes even after that superconductivity is there okay so that was the new things then we thought some problem man just a explanation that okay how that comes up then we found that okay not clear cut but just we assume that okay something like that there is a screening at uh, nanoscopic level microscopic level there is a screening and that's why that superconducting magnetic coexist 
high temperature superconductors great great yeah. so no, now sir please tell us about uh, any foreign collaborations you have at present yeah so we have foreign collaboration in csiro that is in australia okay so just we have in japan just uh, japan advanced institute of science and technology that <coughs> these two collaboration are working in russia also we have uh, developing collaborations great great yeah. and uh, sir nowadays most of the professors uh, in different iits yeah. they are also providing uh, we can say free education on uh, nptel platform okay by providing good quality of lectures there mm. so uh, do you also teach there or do you recommend uh, nptel nptel that is good because just we have uh, we are going through all those lectures we also teach here but just we have not recorded that one for nptl okay so not because we give lectures in open classroom some people who are interested they can give but still we find that okay board blackboard just direct interaction with the students yeah, that, that is, is the most yeah. basically yeah. so mm -hmm. that if some student has doubt they start questioning in between yes but in nptl that is also good because who are from remote areas for them that is good and who are not in IIT system. Yeah, that is the supplement thing. actually. Supplements, yeah. yeah. But board and uh, that education, direct interaction with the student, that is always the best. Yes, yes. Offline is always, yeah, always the best. Yeah. yeah. So, sir, now tell me, uh, suppose there is some industry. So, many of the professors here are solving industrial problems also and they are providing some consultancy also to them. Yes. So, uh, do you provide some consultancy to yes. uh, industries? Yes, we provide. Okay, so if some industry have some problems and they want their solution from your side, yes. so you, what kind of problems you can deal? So we are dealing now, just we have some problems now, some textile industries. So they are looking for finding that, okay, just because the textiles just in that one, they use cottons and cotton has different qualities. So they are they have given us the problem that okay how you will by taking image you can tell that okay which quality they have the cotton yes so just uh, we are working on that one so in that one just we are trying to doing image analysis and with that one just we'll tell that okay which okay. even is the so it was very nice interaction with you sir thank you very much and yeah. most important information you provided to us yeah. thank you thank you very much